Hey, 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 everybody. This is Tequila, God's Purpose for Daughter, coming to you again on a Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I pray that you guys are doing well and staying healthy, as healthy as you can. And um, my prayer is that uh, you guys are continuing to follow the safety guidelines to include wearing your masks, washing your hands, and practicing social distancing. So I'm going to move forward, guys, and I want to um, read my signature scripture, Romans 12, 1 and 2. This is the King James Version. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2, be not conformed. To this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove God's good, acceptable, and perfect will. So, guys, let that sizzle in your spirit and um, just remember for every action, there is a reaction, and for every cause, there's an effect. So this scripture will help you respond and react to people differently. Just by that simple scripture, it will cause you to respond and react differently to people. So just keep that in mind, guys. It'll make a difference. So I'm going to move forward, guys. First and foremost, I want to tell you that consult your physician. Um, if I share anything, uh, any natural remedies that you guys want to incorporate in your diet, uh, be sure to consult your physician first. So I'm going to uh, share a resource uh, with you guys today. Um, I'm going to be coming from my, even though I'm aware of the signs and symptoms of a stroke, this is what I'm going to, this is the topic. I think, I don't think I mentioned that, but this is the topic that I'm going to discuss today. A, being able to recognize the signs and symptoms of a stroke. The resource is going to be coming from my Introduction to Critical Care Nursing book. This is the seventh edition, and this is a book from L. Selvier. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, signs and symptoms. Weakness. One may exhibit weakness. Or numbness on one side of the body to include the face, arm, or leg, or any combination of those things. They may have slurred speech or inability to comprehend what is being said. They also may exhibit visual disturbances, such as a transient loss of vision in one or both eyes. They may have double vision or a visual field deficit. They also may exhibit dizziness in coordination, which is a loss of balance, as well as ataxia. Ataxia, guys, is a nosebleed. And vertigo. Vertigo is a constant spinning around the room. So it's a constant spinning as my mom would say, a swimming in the head. And guys, they also may exhibit one of the worst headaches in their life, which is a severe migraine. So guys, keep that in mind and be aware of those signs and symptoms. So guys, those signs and symptoms are not to be taken lightly. Your body has a language. It's very important that you are in tune with your body so that when it speaks, you are able to recognize what your body is trying to tell you so that you can intervene immediately. Do not delay when it comes down to an intervention when someone is having a stroke because any delay can cause further issues, which can lead to a dehabilitating state physically. So it's very important, guys, that you stay on top of it. And some of the other ways that you can keep your um, prevent having a stroke, which I mentioned early on in this series, which are to make sure that your blood pressures are in control. 120 over 80 is the gold standard 
and recommended blood pressure. So if your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or below, you are in good standing. If it's in the one teens over 70s, that is wonderful. That is a wonderful blood pressure. So guys, try to keep that on a consistent basis and make sure that you're documenting and keeping a blood pressure log so that you can take it to your physician to let your physician know how well you are monitoring your blood pressure. So guys, I'm proud of you for that. Stay consistent. And remember that if you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. What comes, what goes in the body must come out. So with that being said, it's important that you try to consume at least 64 ounces of water a day. Guys, water is life. Please try to consume at least 64 ounces of water. Some people try to consume at least a gallon. Hey, if you can get a gallon in, that's even better because you're helping to detox and get rid of all those toxins, you know, that your body consume every day that your body you know takes in so it helps to get rid of all those toxins through your kidneys so guys i just want you to take heed to that and um recognize those symptoms guys because i had a friend uh to have a stroke a few years ago it's been about i think it's been about three years now because i think she turned 58 this year but um she was having the signs and symptoms I happened to run across her in uh, one of the stores here and uh, she had the slurred speech. She couldn't hardly walk. Her whole, the, her whole body language was off. And so when I saw her, I knew something wasn't right. And so I told her, I said, uh, I think you need to go to the emergency room. You know, she was with another friend. And so I told, I told her, I think you need to go to the emergency room. And uh, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't want to go. You know for whatever reason but guys don't ignore the symptoms and if you have somebody there that's trying to help you take heed to that, that help that god sent your way don't ignore it don't ignore your body because it will ultimately change your outcome um but now she's in a nursing home and uh guys that's that's not a good place uh, to be, but you know, everybody's situation is different. So you just have to make the best of each situation. But when you have the information there, listen, keep your blood pressure regulated 120 over 80, one teens over 70s. Talk to your doctor, develop that relationship with your doctor so that you guys can, can stay on the same page. So that you will have overall better health. Guys, if you want to try natural remedies like the lemon water or the garlic, still talk to your doctor about it. But I can attest that it works. You know, I don't have high blood pressure, but I, I have to keep a watch on it because, you know, it runs on both sides of my family. So I um, incorporated that into my regimen daily. I'm consistent with it. The key is consistency. We have a tendency of starting something and falling off. Guys, we got to be consistent with everything that we do if we want to see a change and progression. So just keep that in mind, guys. And, uh, you know, I also had a patient here more recently, just a few days ago, who, who expressed to me that, uh, you know, she had a stroke too in uh, the past. And you know, she was just talking to me. She felt compelled to share, you know, how she was feeling. And so as I stood there and uh, she was just saying to me that, you know, on the floor that she was assigned to, you know, the, the caregivers up there, they, she said that they, she didn't feel like they were paying her any attention. She said she was, she had a hard time getting her words out. And she said that um she felt like they was ignoring her, wasn't paying her any attention. Guys. Don't do that. That's not right. Treat people how you would want to be treated because you don't know how you're going to leave this earth. You don't know what state you're going to be in when you leave here. Treat people right. Treat people with love and compassion. You know, that broke my heart when she told me that. It broke my heart. It broke my heart. So, of course, me, 
I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And uh, I called the appropriate people. I made my supervisor aware. I notified the charge nurse, her primary care nurse, her primary nurse, and uh, the nursing supervisor. Because that should not happen. But I know it happens all the time in healthcare. Somebody, you know, is uh, going to get neglected. You know, they're going to be made to feel like they, you know, just mistreated, made to feel like they, what they're saying is not important or it get ignored. It's ignored. Come on, guys. To the people in healthcare, to the people in healthcare, God put us there for a reason, y'all. He put us there for a reason. And we signed up for the positions that we hold because God put the compassion on the inside of each and every one of us. Because if he didn't, we wouldn't be there. But don't get me wrong. Like I mentioned in a previous video, there are some people that signed up for it just to collect a paycheck. And guys, you get those people, they need to be dismissed. And go to another area of of whatever. Go work somewhere else. Find another trade. So guys, I just want to put that out there uh, this evening. Treat people like you would want to be treated. And uh, recognize the signs and symptoms of a stroke. So that you can intervene immediately. If you're showing those signs, call 911. And... Uh, get to the ER as soon as possible. But don't drive. I would suggest you call 911. And our, uh, I want you guys to be blessed. I speak life to you and your families. And I pray that you guys will maintain good health. And I want you guys to stay rooted. Stay rooted in the word of God. Stay rooted in who you are. Remember, each of us are here for a divine purpose. Each of us are God's purpose for daughter and son. So guys, let this be food for thought for your spirit. And uh, this is God's purpose for daughter tequila. I'm going to end it now. I'm signing off until next Sunday. And uh, you guys be blessed. Have a blessed week. And I will keep you guys in my prayers. I love you guys.